Hi, my name is Max and today I'm going to try to make a review on a new product of the VKB team Gunfighter Pro with the brand new MCG grip. I am a pilot, I was interested in aviation since I was a kid and I flew flight simulators well before I started to fly real planes. So since that time I'm always looking for a joystick which could bring me the most realistic feeling of the flight. Unless you are able to buy a force feedback flight control system for more than 1600 bucks, the VKB Gunfighter could be the one you need for the very best performance. I've just recently got my Gunfighter. First of all, I was surprised how actually small the box is. Once I've opened it, I've been surprised again, and now by the build quality. You can easily see that the good engineering is the main idea of this product. Housing, frames and extender are made of 6061 aluminum alloy, which is commonly used for the construction of aircraft structures. Mechanics are made of stainless steel using ball bearings in the pivot points. MCG grip itself made of industrial grade ABS plastic. And I do like how it feels. Brakes lever is the metal either. MCG grip has tons of buttons. I've seen 32 of them in calibration software and there are, I think, another 5 axes besides of two traditional pitch and roll channels. Two heads work like micro joysticks, and one of them could be switched back to 8 way POV head. And a fifth axis is a brake lever for a nice and precise braking. All of others, four position switches could be pushed as well, what gives you some additional buttons. All of that is really useful, especially if you are using VR headset for flying and you want to have everything right by your hand. You will definitely find some flight sim fans video on YouTube who take seriously the way how every button pushes. I'm not one of them, as for me everything works just perfect. And by the way, MCG does have very nice adjustable palm rest and it's really big deal. What is the most interesting thing for me? It's the way how does this joystick perform general control. I'm going to compare it with the pretty nice classic joystick from CH Products Fighter Stick and with the real aircraft. If you are a real aviation enthusiast, you definitely should go for the extended version of the Gunfighter. High stick gives you an additional range of movement and as a result more precision control. But even if you are looking for a side stick, the range will be just fine. Let's have a look at this Diamond Aircraft DA62. It has dual stick controls, on the ground stick is maintaining its position, stay wherever it's left. It happens because of the weight compensation of control surfaces, tension of cables and friction in all pivot points. Same story with the yoke of this Citation jet or with the stick of this Aerobatic Extra 330. And it's actually a pretty nice feeling when there are no any undesirable self movements of the stick and you need to apply some force to move it. And the amount of this force is very easy to control. The nature of the required force is simple, it's basically an inertia or mass of ailerons and the elevator you need to accelerate while you are moving them. And this feature has been realized in the Gunfighter through these white nylon adjustable dampers. You've got to know that it's real deal. I can understand why just nobody did this before. What's happening during the flight? Well, it's pretty simple, you are getting an additional aerodynamic load on your control surfaces, which you can feel on your stick or yoke through the linkage. And this load is proportional to the square of the airspeed. Unlike many other joysticks, Gunfighter has the same relationship between the stick movement and the spring load, thanks to special curvature of cams in its mechanics. This load is trying to bring your stick in the center position, which means that the control surfaces will be blown back to the trail edge. Due to total inertia and damping property of the system, there will be no noticeable fluctuation of the stick upon reaching center position. Unlike that, classic joystick needs time to stop in the center. In the real life, aerodynamic load really depends on the aircraft type you are flying. It could be very light if we are talking about an aerobatic aircraft and ridiculously heavy if it's a large transport airplane. And this load not necessarily directly proportional to the control surfaces size, it is mainly depends on the engineering design. For example, tweaking aerodynamic compensators, 
you can tune your aerobatic plane to get not only zero load on your ailerons, but even overcompensate them. It will bring you to a situation where the stick is sucked completely, for example, to the right and you need to apply forces to get it back in the center. There is a bunch of springs with different tension comes in the box of Gunfighter to let you adjust the load of your joystick for your very best experience. There is also another set of cams. You may use it if you are not worrying about realism of flight control and you just want to have a physical bump right in the center position. So overall, the VKB Gunfighter MCG Pro is really stunning joystick. Build quality, ergonomics, functionality and variety of adjustments make it the one you really would like to have. Hope this video will be helpful to whom is looking for a new joystick and thank you very much for watching. See ya!